and gentlemen, this is Captain Raven, and today we're playing a very special game. It is a free game, and by that I don't mean free to play, but completely free. I'll put the download link in the description of the video. The game we're playing today is called Wings of Saint Nazaire. Or maybe it's pronounced Wings of Saint Nazaire, which sounds a bit more alien and foreign, but I don't think that's the correct way to pronounce it. Anyway, as you might have guessed it, it's a space sim and uh, I'm very fond of space simulators and I'm so happy that they are getting a new refreshment over the last few years and, and the upcoming years especially with Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous and now uh, this game. And um, there's another thing very special about this game, and that is its graphic style, because it's using the um, old but trusted method of using a lot of 2D sprites for its game. So it's basically like Doom in space, or I would say Doom had far more 3D than uh, this game actually has, but this is... Um, you could also say it's very, very true to the old uh, Wing Commander games, especially Wing Commander 1 and 2. And, um, but of course it is using this technology in a very modern way and I can't believe the amount of work that has gone into um, the sprites that the people that made this game created and it just looks so phenomenal. You might think in the first two or three minutes of this game, what, what is happening? What, what are these graphics? This is 1990 or something because the resolution seems pretty low at first and I guess it is actually pretty low, but um, as soon as you played this game for a couple of minutes, you'll soon forget about all this and just, it's still, the game manages to look fantastic and fabulous and um, this is actually the best example I could think of when people talk about, oh this game is shit graphics or oh this game is best graphics. Um, it's Graphics is more than just the technology. This game uses a very old technology, but it does so in a very awesome way and its art direction is just superb so whatever you do with the technology you use makes the game look great or even or, or not great so but before I um, lose myself in ramblings again let's just start the game so this is a very early alpha so um, expect some minor bugs and glitches um, but then again, I haven't seen any so far. I've played a couple of games of this, but I never finished it. I'm not sure if you can finish it, but we'll see. So these are the controls. Very important for me to remember is um, gun mode and selecting the nearest enemy. And I'm not quite sure if it's in the game yet. I've read something about T selecting the enemy um, under your crosshair. So let's try. And this is our spaceship that we're flying in. And here we go. Story-wise, I don't think there is a lot of story going on. It's just kill all the bad guys, which I guess are the purple, pink, red icons uh, on the radar. So let's just do that. And here we go. Yes, got the first enemy. And it should explode in a spectacular fashion. I, I just love these explosions. And I mean, just, just look at the colors, the vibrant colors. And of course, there's a bit of lens flare uh, in there. I personally very much like lens flare, even though uh, a certain movie director is certainly overusing it. But still, nothing wrong with a little bit of lens flare, in my opinion. Adds to the epicness of the scene. So, I'm, I'm sure these uh, large vessels are using proper 3D technology. Which makes them look, um, of course, a lot better than, let's say, the Wing Commander carriers, especially in, in Part 1 and 2. But these enemies are merely in inverted commas, uh, 2D sprites. In my opinion, they look absolutely awesome. And it's quite unbelievable how good this game is in, um, in terms of, 
or what you call it, showing you what the enemy is actually doing. So you will see that the enemy's exhaust flame colors will change depending on whether the enemy uses boost or something. This is something that so many games don't get right um, in terms of telegraphing to the player what the enemy is actually doing. Also, I'm not sure if uh, crashing into enemies is a feature of the game. I'm very sure if it. I, I, I'm very happy if it is because I tend to. Whoa, whoa, what's that? So Q changes the weapon uh, setup, so you can fire them all in rapid succession or uh, fire them all at once. I like uh, to go for the rapid succession firing mode. It gives you a bit more leeway, and um, it, it doesn't um, eat up all your energy as quickly as firing all your lasers at once would do. And come on, die! But this enemy is—is is this is my, I, I hope it's an enemy because otherwise I might have just killed a, an enemy. But I think it was an enemy. Okay, here we go, next enemy. Got this one. And there should be rockets as well. So let's see. Oh, that sounds, uh, looks pretty impressive and effective. Cool beans. So on my radar, the, um, the large red dot is the enemy carrier or battle cruiser, star cruiser, whatever type of... Uh, again, there is... Uh, I, I don't know much about the lore of this game. I have no idea. I just... It's just the enemy large mothership. I'm afraid I have to destroy this as well. Not sure if my weapons are really sufficient for that. Well, let's just... Let, let's take a look. I have to... Okay, tabulator is not the boost but shows us our spaceship but that this really showcases the technology so you will notice that the game is a 2d sprite if you're moving your uh, view like this but in the game in the proper game you don't notice this at all and it just looks awesome whoop whoop i didn't i, I didn't want to make a 360 turn here but apparently at this point I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go here but I'll do it anyway uh. oh okay I think you can oversteer your, your vessel and uh, it makes it a bit harder to steer you forget to keep that in mind and come on. How thick can your skin be? No, there don't seem to be any uh, collision detection in this game. I really don't think this is the way to go. But feeling exper experimental here. So. I can lock it as a target, so. I forgot, is there a boost in this game or am I just not finding it? Are my bullets hitting anything? I really don't know. Oh. Whoa. Okay, this looks spectacular and my bullets are poofing on the ship here, but whoa. Okay, okay, time to take on these bad mofos. Uh, I did not want to shoot this unguided missile, but I did. So, yep. I think I'm in trouble. I think that was a friend. <laughs> I think I don't really know what I'm doing. 
come here. Uh, but maybe switching to all weapons at the same time gives me more punch. Yep. And take that. I just love the colors of this game. It's really nice. So I've, I've uh, taken a look at the website of this game and the devs state that they are definitely planning to keep this game free uh, for as long as possible um, if they could choose probably forever but that uh, the business model might change depending on what they can and um, would like to achieve with the game so um, I'm not quite sure if, if I remembered correctly, I think they were talking about probably doing a Kickstarter thing for this game and also looking to uh, get it on Steam Greenlight to eventually get the game out on Steam, which would be awesome in my opinion. And uh, I really like that they are planning to keep it free, and um, but I think I wouldn't mind paying a bit of money for a feature complete version of this game. No, definitely not. Also, the music is really engaging and great. Whoa! Oh, come here. I don't see how many missiles I actually have. I'm not quite sure if that was my very last missile. Or maybe they replenish. As I said, this is an, it's an alpha version, so it might be that what I'm doing here is ultimately futile because that means keep respawning and I at some point run out of uh, missiles. But yeah. Well, but I still have missiles, and I think these enemies just appeared, so... And they are getting mo more and more, so maybe it would be a good idea to return to our fleet. I've also seen on the website that um, in the future there will be um, several different ships to choose from. Um, I think I also saw a cockpit perspective of an alien ship, which looked really awesome. And I can... I, I would love to see this game have a bright future and have a cool single-player campaign. I think it could also become a great multiplayer title, but first and foremost, I... Um, I really miss single player games in, in, in general because a lot of games are doing the, this optional multiplayer today which does not always turn out so well. But I also especially miss single player space games. So um, with Star Citizen for example which always comes to my mind when I'm playing a space game now nowadays, I'm really at least at the moment, look more looking forward to Squadron 42, the single player thing from uh, Star Citizen, than the Star Citizen game itself, which is supposed to be some kind of MMO style like game. Because I don't like other players meddling in my affairs, I just want to play the game as I want to be. Sometimes when I'm a bit tired, I just turn on a game and I don't know, do stupid stuff that is really not effective at all and um, that can be a bit hard to do with multiplayer games even if they are not competitive um, like but still I can see this game here um, Wings of Saint Nazaire hey I remembered the title um, be pretty cool in multiplayer but I can also imagine this being uh, or having a really cool and interesting st uh, storyline because it seems as if the developers already thought of something like it. Um, I just saw that this large ship is called the Saint Nazaire, so I guess that explains 
the title if the, if the Saint Nazaire is your um, flagship and these kind of alien crafts so art direction seems pretty solid and the devs seem to know a bit more about this whole universe than we um, actually do now or at least as I do all in all this looks very very promising Oh my god, my actual situation does not look very promising, so... Oh. Okay, okay, come here. Oh, I see, if I double tap the, or is it just, yes, if I double tap the A or D key, I'm doing a barrel roll. I, I wondered if that was actually a thing that happened when I'm hit, when I'm, when I kind of got a critical hit from the enemy, but nope. Okay, let, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this or die a horrible death. Nope, I can do it. This is awesome. Yep, every space game needs the possibility to do that. You pass the test, Saint Nazaire. You pass the test. Okay, let's uh, switch around the weapons again. At this point though, I wonder if there is a fail state to this game. So there seems to be more and more enemies uh, that keep spawning. And even though I do get hit from some, from time to time, I'm, I don't seem to take that much damage, so... Not quite sure if... if Getting destroyed is actually a thing in this alpha yet. But the colors, man, this is so, so cool. We have so many grimdark games nowadays, and they're fine. I, I, li I like some of them very, very much, like most of them, but it's getting a bit dull if it's all you can get. And nobody says that your game cannot be compelling or have an important story to tell or feel adult enough, if you want to say it like that, um, if it doesn't have colors. Oh, this is a mobile little bugger. Okay, let's see how many rockets I have. Where is it? Was this the last rocket I have, or is it... What did I... Oh, I... I did not even... I'm not quite sure what I'm targeting here. Okay, let's see how far we can break this alpha. Because... Right now I think either the enemies are not hitting me or I'm actually invincible for this alpha. Did I say beta in, in my first sentence there? Alpha. I meant alpha in any, in any case. Okay, I guess um, failure is not an option this time around. I'm just that good of a pilot. Yep. Then again, what is happening over there? Usually spaceships are not supposed to do that. Okay, I have to check this out. Definitely. 
gonna check this out and then we'll wrap this video up. I think you got a first good impression of uh, what the Wings of Saint Nazaire can become and um, I'm pretty excited that this game exists. Nope, usually spaceships are not supposed to explode like that. And also, oh, oh, I'm flying uh, upside down. Explains a lot. Well, time to wrap this up, I think. The Wings of Saint Nazaire, everybody. I put the um, download link to this game in the description, so if you like science fiction, if you like spaceships, or if you just like colors and lasers, give this game a try. It's really cool. Check out the website. I'm going to link that as well. Well, I'm, I'm going to link the website where you can download the game. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this first view on this game. And uh, see you again next time.